All the parts are placed in the schematic and it is ready for wiring. Select Place Wire from the menu, the wire button on the toolbar, or use the W key on the keyboard to begin wiring. Click each connection to add a wire. To repeatedly place a wire, click F4 on the keyboard. There are a few connections that will connect to a bus or need a net alias. Add a short wire to these pins. When finished, right click and select end mode or use escape on the keyboard. You can also copy and paste wires by using Ctrl C and Ctrl V on the keyboard. Easily move sections of your schematic by highlighting and dragging the selection, a component, or a wire. Next, let's place the buses. Select the bus button from the toolbar or place bus from the menu. Click to place the bus. Use escape on the keyboard or right click in end mode when finished. There are multiple ways to connect to a bus. To place a bus entry, select place bus entry from the menu. Connect the wires to the bus by clicking to place the bus entry. To rotate the bus entry, use the R key on the keyboard. Let's add another bus. To add a bus at an angle, hold down the shift key and click to place. To auto connect to a bus, select place auto wire connect to bus from the menu. Select the pin you want to connect, then select the bus. Type the name of the net and click OK. If your bus has sequential nets, add the name, a bracket, and the set of numbers. Click OK. This will add the net names to all the selected nets. Let's finish wiring up the buses. Next, place the No Connects. Select the No Connect button from the toolbar or place No Connect from the menu. Click on all the pins that are not connected. The schematic is now wired. Join us in the next video where we will add net aliases.